award-winning producer, director Rory Kennedy, has a brilliant new documentary called Last Days in Vietnam, and that's exactly what it's about. Take a look. One by one, we jump out. I jumped out, my brother jumped out, my mom was holding my, my sister. Obviously very scared. And she just, you know, just trustingly, just with one hand, with her right hand, holding on with her left to brace herself, you know, just dropped uh, my baby sister. One fellow standing there and he said he looked up and he saw this big bundle of stuff come flying out and it was a baby. It was the one-year-old baby. Please welcome Rory Kennedy. Hey, Rory. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, this is an amazing documentary, and the uh, evacuation of the fall of Saigon is a pivotal, pivotal memory in my, in my childhood. I remember it vividly. It's, it's an extraordinary story, and it's surprising how few people know what happened during those final days that I consider to be, you know, a, a, an extraordinary moment in our history. There are these extraordinary stories that very few people know about of Americans and South Vietnamese doing everything they could to save South Vietnamese and to get them out of the country. And these were the people that that worked with the military side by side, and the military did not want to leave them behind, mm -hmm. um, but they were instructed to do so, and they went against a presidential order, correct? Well, they went against what was then U.S. policy, which was just to get the Americans out. There were about 6,000 Americans left in the country at this point. It was two years after the peace accord, so there was really just advisors there. Um, there was no military presence, and it fell very quickly, Saigon, much quicker than anybody expected. So the U.S. said, let's just get the Americans out. But the people on the ground said, not so fast. And they knew if they left them behind, they could be tortured, they could be killed, they could spend years in re-education camps, which is, in fact, what happened. And so they said, we're going to do everything we can to save these people. And it's really an extraordinary story. That actually makes you proud of these Americans. Oh my lord, yeah. beyond proud because you know all I really knew of Richard Armitage was that he was a Republican guy and he was a politician and there was some stuff about Valerie Plame and I didn't really think very much of when I watch this documentary I want to throw a parade in his honor. This man himself saved over 30,000 lives against the orders on his own just because his moral fiber told him I cannot not save them. And his son called you to tell you what? His son had seen the, the film a few months ago and wrote me a note saying thank you for making this film and telling this story because I never heard it before. One thing that is, I He never told his family. <laughs> this was sort of the humility, though, and the pride of, of that generation of the people that were there. Right at the outset of the documentary, you show what happened on the ground um, in the immediate aftermath of Nixon's resignation. I was stunned to see that, that if there was one good piece of his legacy, it was that they were actually afraid of him. And that the minute he was gone, the documentary the North, shows, North. right, the North Vietnamese, mm -hmm. the, the minute he was gone, the documentary explains what happened and, and, and they, they yeah, rolled well, on. The, you know, I think that the North was going to come into the South no matter what, but when, when Nixon resigned, they, they considered him a madman. And they so were afraid of him. They were, I think they were afraid of him and, and perhaps for good reason, I don't know. But in any case, they, they saw a vulnerability there and they, um, and they kind of, they came in to the northern part of South Vietnam initially to see if America would come back with the troops. We didn't come back. And so they thought it was going to take four months, two years to get to Saigon. And it actually took four months. Right.